In order to consistently grow and retain productive team members, it's essential to support an employee's progression along their career track. The Career Development folder includes several features that will assist you in that effort. The Marketing Careers doc outlines career tracks, positions, and core competencies for each role. This clarifies expectations and makes professional advancement and promotions more attainable. This doc contains two pages, Marketing Careers and Description of Core Competencies. The Marketing Careers page helps guide your team on how career tracks and individual development plans can be managed using the career tracks list. It also includes a short Frequently Asked Questions or FAQ that helps answer questions about the career development in your organization. Here's a pro tip. Customize the FAQ to conform with your organization standards and add any additional questions you frequently hear from your team. The Description of Core Competencies page lays out a strategy for how you will rate employee performance on scorecards. Having this laid out and documented will make it easy for the team to understand how they will be evaluated and arm them with the knowledge to help them attain the rating they want to receive. Make sure to review this page and customize it to suit the standards of your own organization. In addition to clear role expectations, regular feedback is key to helping teams and employees grow. Tasks on the career development list are designed to capture notes from one-on-one -on -one meetings, as well as quarterly scorecards that allow team members to track their progress and accomplishments over time. This makes it easy for managers to monitor performance and provide feedback uniformly on a consistent basis. Here we see a sample task for a marketing manager. Note the values in the custom fields. These present the targets for the level of skill and effort that a manager should demonstrate and achieve. For anyone wanting to move up into a management position on the marketing team, this provides a guide that will help them understand what skills they need to develop and the level at which they should perform. Review each task on this list and customize them to suit your own team standards for performance. Then. Create a copy of the relevant tasks and rename each to represent a member of your team. You can then use the task when performing reviews or when conducting a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the employee. Use subtasks to capture individual development plans and performance reviews so that it's all in one place, including rating on competencies. Here's a pro tip. Once you customize the task representing each position, create task templates for each one to make it easier to add new career tasks for your employees. Note that there are several views associated with this list. They are segmented by career track. Since these tasks may include personal or sensitive information that should only be seen by the employee and their manager, Make the tasks private and give access only to the people who need to view and use them. You can use the task description to include the agenda for the one-on-one -on -one meeting and or for meeting notes. A best practice would be to collaboratively take notes in the task description during the meeting, then copy them over into a comment so that an historical log can be captured and additional actions or updates can be captured as replies to the comment. Here's a pro tip. Set up the task to recur, corresponding with the frequency of the one-on-one -on -one meetings. To preserve the agenda and notes from meeting to meeting, don't enable the Create New Task option. The Career Feedback Form allows team members to provide feedback on current career tracks so that managers can continuously evolve them to fit the needs of employees as well as the business. Once submitted, a task will be created and populated with the form's data on the Career Feedback List, allowing managers to evaluate and take action on the feedback. 
Here is an example of a task created via the feedback form. The list view has been customized so you can view the feedback without having to open a task to see its details. If there is more text in the feedback than can be seen in the list view, click on that field and a pop-up will expand and show the full text of the feedback, or enable the Wrap Text option using the View's Show button. Here's a pro tip. Use the Quick Automation option to add a manager as a watcher on all new tasks automatically whenever a new piece of feedback is submitted. The Internal Onboarding folder includes a sample list of onboarding tasks and a sample doc that contains information and instructions for new team members. Here we see a list filled with different activities related to onboarding, as well as it being a place to track a new employee's 30, 60, 90 day plan. Keep in mind that this is just an example, and you should customize the onboarding list to include the activities and information pertinent to your organization and team standards. Let's go through the steps of adding a new onboarding task to the list. First, click on the Add Task button. Let's enter the task's name. This will be a Week 1 check-in task. We'll enter a task description. Choose Week 1 from the Timeline Custom field. Then, click on the Create Task button to finish. Here is the new task we created. Repeat these steps to add other new tasks to the onboarding plan. Now that our new onboarding tasks are added to the list, let's customize the list to make it easier for our team to use. Let's add the start date and due date as columns in the view. This will make it easy for the new team member to see when the tasks begin and end. Repeat these steps to add any other columns to the view that you think are important or useful. Review each task on the list and make sure that each one has a good description that will be easily understood. You can use rich text formatting in this field, so use boldface, italics, headings, hyperlinks, banners, etc. to enhance the task description. Here is a task named Get to Know the Marketing Team. Let's add some instructions to the task. We've mentioned the org chart, so let's add a direct hyperlink to it for easy access. But first, let's send this task to the tray so that it's easy for us to return to it. Now let's add a quick link to the team overview page in the marketing wiki doc using a doc mention. Now there is a handy tile that the user can click on to access the information. Finally, let's remove that task from our tray since we're done with it. Here's a pro tip. Enhance the onboarding experience by including ClickUp University in your plan. Add tasks to the list with links to the courses you want them to take. Once you have finalized your onboarding list, it is time to build a template based upon it so that you can quickly set up new lists in the future. It will take ClickUp a few seconds to save the template, but once we see the confirmation message saying that the template has been created, we can find it in the Template Center whenever we need to set up a new list for a new team member. Let's now set up an onboarding list for Jake, who will be joining our team next week. First, we will apply the template to create a new list. Then, we'll select the tasks on the list and use the Bulk Action Toolbar to assign them to the new team member. Also, make yourself a watcher so that you're updated along the way. Finally, 
schedule the tasks. That's it. Now we're all set for Jake to join the team next week, and he will be able to work through the tasks on this list to get up to speed in no time. Whenever you bring on a new team member, be sure to demonstrate how they should update the tasks and mark them as complete, as well as how to use task comments to document notes and ask questions. While each person going through onboarding will have their own list with their onboarding tasks, you aren't limited to just reviewing the list one at a time. You can leverage views at the folder level to get the full picture of all onboarding in progress. Here we have a list view that will show all open tasks on the lists within the folder. You will notice that we can see the tasks broken out into two separate lists. This is the best way to keep an eye on how your new team members are progressing through their onboarding tasks. Here's a pro tip. Stay on top of notifications so you can answer questions related to the onboarding task quickly. This will ensure that you address them in a timely fashion and keep the process moving forward. You will find team docs located in the sidebar within the marketing team operations space. This makes it easy for your team to find it. This ClickUp doc is made up of pages and subpages that contain SOPs, as well as examples of different documentation, such as brand guidelines, creative briefs, and email template messaging. You can add new pages and subpages as needed if you have other documents you use in addition to the ones already present. Each of these documents represents an example based on best practices, but you should carefully review each page and subpage and customize it to meet your own organization's standards and workflows. Here's a pro tip. Once you customize the example docs, be sure to capture your edited versions as new doc templates to make it easy for your team to add these to development tasks as needed. If you are unfamiliar with ClickUp Docs, check out the Collaborate with Docs course on ClickUp University. You will find a link to the course in the resources that accompany this session. Not only can ClickUp help you make your work more productive, it can help make meetings more productive and efficient too. Here's an example of a doc that holds minutes of meetings. The Team Meetings page acts as a section in the doc, and its subpages represent the meeting minutes for individual meetings. The advantage of having this information in a doc is that it is easily accessible by the team, and they can quickly access notes from previous meetings if they need clarification on an item or idea. Let's set up a new meeting minutes page for our next team meeting. Here's a pro tip. Consider whether or not an in-person meeting is needed and if an asynchronous meeting might be a better option. For example, you can capture stand-ups in a dock rather than getting everyone together in a room or on a teleconference. Let's recap what we've explored today. In this session, you learned how to configure and customize the marketing operation space template to suit your own needs and requirements, manage onboarding and career development for your team members, incorporate best practices for marketing team operations and meetings, and leverage ClickUp features to support and streamline your team's activities. Now you're ready to set up a similar structure in your own workspace. Remember that you can access the space template in the template center that was used here to help you get started. Once you apply the template and create the marketing team operation space, you can customize it to fit your own team's workflows and style. But wait, there's so much more to learn in ClickUp University. 
be sure to take advantage of the accompanying activities and resources that will help you gain a deeper understanding of how you can leverage ClickUp to manage any kind of work you do. Thank you, and have a great day.